let us see the solution of second equation discriminant delta equal to b square minus 4 ac and b is minus 5 whole square minus 4 a is 1 into c is 6 so 25 minus 24 again 1 is greater than 0 so it is having real and unequal roots so the roots are minus b plus or minus under root of b square minus 4 ac by 2a so minus of minus 5 plus or minus under root of 1 by 2 into a value is 1 so what you are going to get minus into minus plus plus or minus 1 by 2 so 2 roots again alpha is equal to 5 plus 1 by 2 and beta is equal to 5 minus 1 by 2 6 by 2 is 3 here 4 by 2 is 2 so 3 comma 2 are roots and most of the teachers prefer to teach you another method that method also I will tell you see this equation ax square plus bx plus c can be written as x square plus b by ax plus c by a equal to 0 here sum of roots is equal to minus b by a so instead of b by a i can write minus of alpha plus beta and instead of c by a i can write it as alpha into beta equal to 0 that means this last term is sum of product of two roots then we can write this second term as sum of two roots in the same way here x square minus 5x plus 6 is equal to 0 here c by a that is equal to 6 that means alpha into beta so i can write it as alpha into beta alpha into beta means 3 into 2 also i can write so 3 plus 2 will be 5 so sum of two roots so i can write like this minus 3 plus 2 so 3x minus 2x plus 6 is equal to 0 so x x minus 3 x you take common from these two terms minus 2 you take common from these two terms x minus 3 equal to 0 so x minus 3 again you take common from these two terms you will be getting x minus 2 is equal to 0 so the product of these two terms will be 0 that means it may be 0 or this may be 0 so x minus 3 is equal to 0 or x minus 2 is equal to 0 that means x is equal to 3 x is equal to 2 so one root is 3 another root is 2 that we have seen uh, just now so you can follow either method to calculate the roots generally the students prefer to calculate the roots by this method but anyway suppose if you feel difficulty if you don't get to solve the problem like this and you follow this method to calculate the roots you will be getting